Welcome back. Another crossover method for permutation representation is the cycle crossover. The basic idea here is that each element comes from one parent together with its position. And this, one, this method is actually quite fun. The procedure is as follows. We have two parents, parent 1 and parent 2, or P1 or P2. What we do, we make a cycle of elements, P1, as follows. We start at the first element of the first parent. We look at the element at the same position in the second parent. Now what we do, we look at the element at that position in the second parent and we go to the position occupied by the same element but now in parent 1. And then we add it to the cycle. And then we repeat. Right? We look at the element in that position in parent 2 and then we find the position with the same element in parent 1 and we repeat, repeat, repeat until we arrive at the first element of P1, the one we started off with. We put the elements of the cycle in the first child uh, in the positions that they have in the first parent and then we continue, we move on, we choose the next element in parent 1 which is not in the cycle and then we do the same thing. We start there, we look at the same we look at the element in P2 at the same position and then the value of element in P2, that value now, we try to find its position in P1 and we continue the cycle. Um, and then we take the next cycle from the second parent. Let's have a look at an example to make things clear. Let's say we have two parents, as you can see in front of you, this one and this one. We start off at the first element of parent 1. Here the value is 1, right? Now we find the corresponding element, not the value, we find the element number 1 in parent 2. Now in parent 2, we check the value, which is now We find the value 9 now in parent 1, which is there. You follow the arrow, 9 is there. Now we are at 9, we find the element not with that value, but at that position in parent 2, which is 4. Now from parent 2, we check the element value, we find that value in parent 1, 4. Now from parent 1, we don't find element 4 in parent 2, what rather, we find the element at the same position in parent 2, which is 8. And then we find 8 now in parent 2, and then we find ele the element at the same position in parent... In, I'm sorry, in, we, are, uh, we, are, we are at parent 1 now, we find the element at the same position in parent 2, which is 1, and now we find, we check the value of that element, see, we always check the, we always check the value at the second parent, we find th that value, it's, we find its position in parent 1, which is 1. Now we, we went back to 1, this is where we started, so now we have a cycle. Notice now the uh, uh, numbers, are, the area is grayed, right, the area is grayed, right, is, is uh, uh, sh uh, sh uh, shadowed. Now, we move on to the next element which is not in the cycle yet is element number two we find the corresponding element i.e element in the same position in the second parent which is three but now we look at the value we find that value in the first element which is there and then from there we look at the element in the same position at the set in the second parent which is seven and then seven we now look at the value remember we said we always look at the value in the second parent we find that value in the first parent it's there and then from there we find the value at the same position in parent 2 which is 5 and then from 5 we look at the value we find 5 in parent 1 right and then from 5 we find the va we find the value in parent 2 at the same position which is 2 now and now at 2 as we mentioned before we always look at the value in the second parent we look at 2 we've tried to find it in parent 1 well 2 is there so we go back to the cycle right we close the cycle now so we have two we go to three from three we go to three in the first parent and then corresponding element is number seven value seven is there we look at the corresponding element is five value five is there in the first parent and then uh, the corresponding va uh, element is two and then we find value two in the first parent which is there and now we are back to the beginning of the cycle so that's the second cycle and then the only left element now is six there's no cycle so six will uh, uh, stay as it is and then we just copy now alternate cycles into the offspring notice that we can actually have two children rather than one so we copy the first cycle from the first element to this child 
and then the second cycle the second elements of the cycle from the second child uh, I'm sorry from the second parent and then for the second child what we do is we copy the first cycle or the first element the elements in the first cycle from the second parent and the elements of the next uh, the second cycle from the first parent and then we get another child as you can see it's quite fun uh, I hope it makes sense have a look at the steps here and then at the example for things to be clear thank you again for watching in the next video and onwards we will be looking at uh, mutation methods for permutation representation thanks thanks again and i'll see you next time